show your support. Like, share and subscribe. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome to my review of the free PlayStation Plus game Absolver. Now in this game you play as a masked martial arts expert and after a initial um, sort of weird opening uh, cutscene and explanation where you kind of have vague recollections of some kind of weird ritual you wake up in kind of the ruins of uh, sort of I suppose 13th, 12th century Japan like feudal Japan era and um, you are kind of tasked with uh, wandering through here and the game introduces you to the main kind of mechanics and um, the different fighting stances and what all the different face buttons do in terms of styles of attack, uh, blocks, movement, things like that. And once you have kind of worked your way through to the end of that and beaten a little mini boss at the end which is kind of designed to get you to sort of use all of the skills that the game has taught you up until that point, you move on to the next section which is kind of about three or four sections all in one and within this section you are not the only person to basically be populating it. It's kind of MMO-esque in the fact that there are spawn points and these are where you will regenerate um, when you are kind of killed but also this is where other players kind of spawn into the game when they log on to the servers so you can kind of wander around with other players um, at the same time as you and you can either decide to kind of engage in fights with each other or help each other or just completely ignore each other and go about your business on your own and within this section again you are kind of told that you need to um, kind of pass tests and beat certain bosses and mini bosses in order to move on to the next section um, to see if you have what it takes to join um, kind of an Absolver clan. Although it doesn't sound like um, a lot of time with the game, this is pretty much where I got up to and it was hour upon hour of, of playing through the game because you are constantly being attacked by other players within the game, whether you kind of want to engage in fights with them or not. Um, there are many points where you are grossly outnumbered and the idea is to kind of strategically fight your way through them, um, block against um, the, the computer characters and sort of wait for an opening before you go on the attack. And that's all very well and good when there's say one very strong boss to fight. Um, or if there are only sort of one or two fairly strong uh, computer characters. But certainly when you are coming across some of the mini bosses, you have one stronger character and about four or five other kind of grunts, if you like. But they do deal fairly significant damage to you if there's enough of them, which obviously if there's four or five of them, there are. And they kind of get into a routine of surrounding you so it's very difficult to block from all directions because you kind of have to move towards the attack whilst blocking in order to block an attack from that character so if you're doing that with somebody facing you somebody can quite easily sort of sneak up round behind you attack you and you find that you get your health depleted fairly quickly now there are no lives as such, you immediately respawn um, back at the kind of last spawn point that you walked over. But that might not be particularly close to where you died. And these different maps kind of all fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. And t at times they do look a bit samey. So it is quite easy to get a little bit lost or not quite be able to know which way you're going to work out getting back to the point where you were when you died and obviously on the way you come across other characters and other players and it's not necessarily a case of are you respawn where you died you can kind of carry on the fight or start again from the beginning and 
that becomes quite frustrating. The only time this isn't really too much of an issue are with the bigger bosses where the game kind of locks you in a small sort of arena area and it's just basically you and the computer. Nobody can kind of spawn into where you are. Um, you can't sort of easily escape it unless you win the fight. Yes, they do have a few kind of minions or stronger special attacks, things like that. But with some patience um, and with using sort of the right techniques rather than going on a button mash, you are able to overcome these bosses sort of one by one and tick them off of your checklist, if you like. The only issue is with the mini bosses it doesn't work out the same and they respawn all the time so you find that you might kill the same mini boss a couple of times which is very annoying or come close to killing them and because other players are around they might kill them on your behalf which again is very annoying um, or they might just end up killing you these other players and yeah that's really annoying too the general play of the game, although it tries to kind of get over the fact that this isn't a button masher, it's not just a standard beat em up where you can kind of maybe learn two or three decent techniques um, and then just maybe button mash a couple of kicks and punches in here and there. You are meant to use the four different fighting stances correctly. You are meant to use blocks and counters effectively. You are meant to kind of be patient with this. And the only issue with that is when you are just kind of running around facing grunts or even other human players who most of them aren't overly proficient with the game, you can kind of go on a bit of a button mashing spree um, which kind of defeats the point of the way they have built the game, unfortunately. Um, the other main gripe I have with it, I'm, I'm not overly a fan of MMOs in general anyway, um, but especially this where you kind of can actively harm each other, not necessarily in terms of just depleting their health bars, but actually harm other people's progression through the game by kind of interfering um, even potentially unwillingly um, or unwittingly it would have been better maybe to set up some kind of arena system where people can kind of enter that and decide to enter in um, either team together or face each other rather than just be wandering around this area at the same time the, the thing with that as well is the game kind of makes it seem like the world is ending and they are desperate for you to kind of fulfill these tasks and be accepted into this uh, group of absolvers. But with so many people running around, it kind of takes away from the fact that there are few of these people around with this special power because there are loads of them around, all wearing different masks. Um, and you're kind of all working towards the same goal separately. Whereas if there was more of a kind of collaboration um, thread through it, then that might kind of make a bit more sense in terms of the overall story of the game as well. Um, it is quite nice that there are a few weapons lying around that you can wield for limited time. There are plenty of um, kind of items for you to be equipping in order to boost yourself there's a fairly decent leveling up system which also unlocks other skills um, and enhances your kind of strength defense attributes as well and your stamina oh that's the other thing actually the stamina bar does deplete very very quickly which is kind of the only thing forcing you into this patient style of play the only problem is evading and blocking does also take up stamina as well so once you've kind of been able to work yourself into a position where you can put in a couple of attacks you've worked yourself down so low on stamina that you can get about one punch in and then kind of run away in order to uh, restore your stamina bar to go back to blocking again so it, it can be very frustrating which is sometimes why it's easier to just go on a button mashing spree 
because then at least you're depleting the uh, opponent's health. So, yeah, that, I can see what they were trying to do with it, but I don't know if it was particularly well um, executed in that sense. So, moving on to buy, try or fly. As you can see here, the game is priced up at $24.99, which seems rather steep, if you ask me. Um, couple this with the fact that it just it doesn't play how I think they intended it to play and the constant respawning in various places um, and all these really similar maps kind of all being shoved in together to me definitely this is a fly I have no intention of going back to this game even to kind of give it another try out and see what else it has to offer it became very repetitive very quickly and it didn't really properly explain why I was doing anything that I was doing it very quickly once you get past that initial tutorial phase which was structured fairly well I think introducing you to these different uh, elements it just became wandering around a I was gonna say fairly vast area but it's not it's just random corridor bits that occasionally open out a bit and then go back into corridors that all lead into each other um, willy-nilly really before unlocking another section that moves on to more of the same and you're just sort of wandering around aimlessly going oh there's some people to punch and kick and then you collect some of their armor and then you move on to somebody else and do the same sort of thing and I was just constantly thinking why am I doing any of this what is the point I kind of lost any semblance of what the point of anything that I was doing like had on the game there was no real bearing on why I was doing anything so the actual mechanics weren't great anyway the fact that it then didn't feel like I was really contributing in any way to the game in any meaningful uh, way it just kind of killed it for me to be honest um, so yeah that that really that and the price tag definitely a fly if this is your kind of thing and I may have mentioned something that particularly sparks an interest to you maybe give it a try in the next couple of weeks but I wouldn't even really bother wasting the I think it's about six and a half gig um, storage space it's already been deleted from my hard drive and I'm just looking forward to moving on to August and trying some different games out so there we go they were my thoughts on Absolver Please also check out my other video that I did earlier in the month for Heavy Rain. And I will be back next month with some more PlayStation Plus free game reviews. But until then, I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.